credit where it's due. We do have the strongest uh, green energy platform, green energy program in all of North America. And I do thank Mr. Singer McGinty for that. But as Sean Patrick pointed out, it's actually not enough. And it's not enough because we need preserving space for nuclear power. And he's planning on rolling it out on a very, very long time scale. What we need is to get renewables up very quickly so that in this decade we're already turning the corner where most of our energy is renewable. And it goes beyond just what our electricity is. We heat our homes with fossil fuels, and that's going to have to end very quickly too. So we have to be thinking about the kinds of programs, the kinds of innovative programs that they have in Germany, for example, where they build houses that don't need any mechanical heating systems at all. Why aren't we doing that here? That's what we need, a house that is heated entirely by the sun, that is entirely heated by the sun and what we give off as heat and our cooking and that. And it can be done. It is done. There are thousands of these things built. We also need to change our transportation systems, which means that we have to encourage people to get out of their cars and when they are in their cars to make sure those cars are fully electric and that that electricity is again coming from renewable sources. So it's a big, big problem. And it needs to be done properly because we still need to also take care of all those other things, the education, the health, the equity, and all of those things. Um, so it's a big, big problem. And I do want to just say one last thing about uh, nuclear power, um, which is sometimes touted as the solution to climate change. And I just want to say, if we're going to turn around two problems with that, if we're going to turn around in this decade, as scientists say, we pretty much have to, how many reactors can we build in a decade? None. That's why there's a real problem with putting your money in a government that says we'll build nuclear reactors uh, and that will take down our emissions because they're planning on a much longer term plan than we have. We simply do not have the time. The other problem with nuclear, when you're looking at climate change, is that you need to look at the broader lessons of climate change. The broader lessons of climate change are not just that it's problematic to spew fossil fuels out, but that we need to be constantly aware of what we're doing to the planet and think about things that will, will survive in the long term. If we leave the, nu the nuclear waste that we're already leaving uh, for future generations, think about what will happen 2,000 years from now. Think about what you would have thought if the Romans had left a toxic legacy for us that we were still babysitting today and couldn't get near it. What would we think of that population? That's the lesson that we should learn. Um, and I thank you. And I, I really hope that you consider how you vote. Uh, but we really are going to need to push whatever government comes to power to act a lot more quickly than we have been um, and uh, try to vote for the party that will bring you that kind of success as quickly as possible. Thank you.